I'm Jim from Jibblax. In this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the engineering and design work that went into the creation of the Aries Lacrosse Head by Jewel Lacrosse. This is not a review video. This is a behind the scenes look at our thought processes that we went through as we were designing this head. This is the third of a three part series, and in this video, I want to focus primarily on the flex attributes of the head, both horizontal, vertical, as well as torsional, as well as some of the unique technological advancements that we've implemented in the Aries design. Flex and the direction of the flex was a key consideration when designing the Aries. The combination of the mid-rail and the supports gives the Aries extreme vertical strength. No matter how hard I try and bend it in this direction, I can't. And that's important because when you're throwing or passing and someone nicks the front of your head, you don't want the head to deform. You want the head to basically just bash through whatever is in its way in that direction. Compared to vertical pocket flex, which is best when it's essentially zero, horizontal pocket flex actually helps. If you get attacked from the side, you want your head to bend, and the Aries is actually quite flexible in this direction, as you can see. Finally, all the torsional flexibility of the Aries is concentrated in the upper half of the head. And this is so when you go to get a ground ball, the head will give a little bit, so that when you hit the ground, it'll lay flat and snatch those ground balls right off the ground. We also took a look at the curvature of some of the key surfaces of the head. Most heads, when you hold in your hand, you'll notice that they are sloped away from the pocket. So that a 50-50 ball that hits the rail more times than not is going to bounce away from the head. The Aries is unique in that this surface is actually slanted in. So that 50-50 balls are going to hit the rail and go into the pocket. The curvature on the back of the scoop actually curves in, not out, as opposed to most lacrosse heads. This is a technology that was borrowed from the golf industry, specifically wedges. And what this sort of curvature does is when it hits the ground, it's much less likely to bounce off than a curvature that goes out. You'll notice that there's two dips along the front of the head. There's a dip here, and there's a dip here. And we put these dips in because we realize that these are the locations that a player is typically catching the ball. And by having these dips, it allows for just a little bit extra catchability if the head is slightly off-center to an incoming pass. Finally, the shapes at the bottom of the Aries are meant to represent the face of a Greek warrior, which ties in nicely with the Aries' name, which it shares with the Greek god of war. If you're interested in the Aries head, please head over to www.jewelacross.com where you can find additional information about the Aries as well as the option to purchase one. If you'd like to check one out in your local lacrosse specialty store, please ask them to bring one in as a demo head. Jimalax has relationships with most stores out there, and we'd be happy to send one into the store, but they need you to ask to want to see it.